Uh, <laughs> hey, be quiet. <laughs> I have a live audience today. Today we're doing lesson 64. So good job, everybody. Let me not forget my function. When what is your function? Don't tell me I already forgot. Your function is forgiveness. And this world is set up clearly for you to forget your function, for you to hold on to your hatreds, for you to just really hold them grudges till your dead, last dying breath. Um, but that's actually not what we're supposed to do. We are supposed to forgive. We are supposed to receive salvation for ourselves, extend it to others. That's like also saying love, or love ourselves, love others, forgive ourselves, forgive others. And that's our purpose of the world. Um, and to, you know, Holy Spirit and all that. Okay, so this is the world. It is my function to save. If I can do it, it's going to get done. All right, so let me not forget my function. Let me not try to substitute mine for God's. And my favorite, let me forgive and be happy. Because when we don't forgive somebody, whew, it does not feel good. Right, live audience? Give me, yeah. give me some canned laughter. <laughs> ja, 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 Jesus, Tina, Jesus. Lesson 64, I listened to it this morning and then I forgot to take notes. So I had to listen to it again because I couldn't remember. <laughs> Jesus basically said we've been trained to be pretty hoes and lure people in with our bodies. And so it's funny that today I look gorgeous. <laughs> Where do we get, where do we pick up this stuff? From the TV, from the programming. We are very physically oriented. We want, you know, eat this, drink that, fuck that, you know. If you don't seek spiritual happiness, you are gonna look for happiness in the physical world. And the thing about it is you're gonna find it, but it's only gonna be temporary. So you're gonna have to keep on finding it again and again and again and again. You're never gonna be satisfied with one drink or one lover or one whatever, like it just doesn't satisfy you. You've got to seek spiritual happiness for happiness. And um, quit, quit being a pretty hoe. Hey, that's what Jesus said. Not really, but you know, that's what I heard. Hey, that's what Jesus said. All right, well, hey, you know. <laughs> it's true though, if you don't seek spiritual happiness, you're not gonna be happy here in this world because you're gonna look outside yourself, I have like a thousand dollars worth of Oracle decks. Like you will never, never, you will never, never, ever, never, ever, ever, ever be satisfied. You won't, you won't. All right, so I see the gas company guy. He's knocking on everybody's door, tell us that he's gonna be working on the gas. Um, so, uh, okay, what do we need to do? Pathways of Light, that'll buy me enough time. Okay, and go. Pathwaysoflight.org. Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles, Workbook Lesson 64, Insights. Let me not forget my function. The physical world is the ego's attempt to replace God. When I make the physical world real, I am joining with the ego's thought system and making separation real. As I am willing to let the Holy Spirit move my focus from the physical to the spiritual, I am led to see that love lies beyond the physical. The Holy Spirit helps me open to my true nature as love. As love, my only function is to extend the love I am. Love sees past illusions to love. It is always my choice to focus on the physical, which is the barrier to love, or let the Holy Spirit help me see the truth. Love is universal. Love is all. When I remember love, I am happy. When I forget about love, I am forgetting about myself, and this brings unhappiness. Let me remember my function here and be happy. I am willing to practice today.
As a creation of love, my function is to extend love. In this world, forgiveness removes the barriers to love's extension. Love does not need encouragement to extend itself. Love extends naturally because that's what love is. But the forms of this world were made to stand as a barrier to love's extension, to make separation appear to be real. Thus, the equivalent in this world to creation in heaven is forgiveness. Forgiveness removes the barrier so that love can extend naturally. Because I was created as love, the only thing that will make me happy is to extend love. This is why forgiveness brings me happiness. Forgiveness removes the barrier to happiness. Every time I insist that my perception, based on what my body's eyes show me is correct, I am resisting my happiness. Since salvation is happiness, forgiveness lets me save the world. Forgiveness lets me bring happiness to the world. I need the Holy Spirit to help me shift from the physical perception of the body's eyes to the spiritual perception that shows me my unity with all things. I dedicate this day to receiving Holy Spirit's vision that I may see and accept my unity with all. This is where I will find lasting happiness. I've come to understand that in any moment that I am unhappy, it is because I am placing blame outside myself or inside myself, which are truly the same. Blame is judgment. It is a statement that implies I don't have a choice to be free and consequently happy. It is a statement that says someone or something else dictates whether or not I can be in joy. It is so challenging with limited vision to sincerely know that I am invulnerable. But the important key to happiness is that until I allow myself to accept that it's my choices that render me happy or unhappy and not someone else's, will I actually know the Holy Spirit and the joy that comes in that relationship. The illusion is a maze, and the walls within it stand tall. I want a loving guide. I don't want to be alone, struggling to find my way out. It's impossible for me to do so alone, simply because that's not my job. I delight in the joy of sharing my journey home with Holy Spirit. I delight in the joy of each moment that I come to know more of who and what I really am. My function is ever present in my mind. I cannot be without it, for it was given me by God. My function is to forgive. I must start with me. I make the world I see. This is the world I am to save. I give meanings to all I see that I often think are real. When I am thinking separation thoughts, I am in the world of insanity. In my insanity, I attack myself mercilessly for imagined faults and slights for imagined unworthiness and harms, for imagining myself human with human imperfections. When I cannot practice my spiritual perfection in humanly perfect ways, my ego in its insanity attacks me. There are no human perfect ways. I remember to say this, but often the ego obscures the function of forgiveness by setting standards that are insanely impossible. Why? To bring on guilt, fear, shame, the ego's game. Today, I take this body image to the light. I take this ego mind to the light. 
I rest in the awareness that I am doing the best I can. Everyone is doing the best they can. I forgive myself for being afraid as God forgives me for being afraid in the insanity I have made. With Holy Spirit's help, I come to see fear as the trick it is to keep me from experiencing my glory. I am willing to be gentle with myself today. I am willing God's gentle grace be present to heal my wounds of insane attack. Holy Spirit pours healing balm of love and comfort that restores me to myself. Let me not forget today that my function is to allow this return to love to happen in each moment of my existence. In this, I find salvation, as does the world I see. Holy Spirit, help me have the willingness to not forget my function or to not wander into temptation today. This lesson tells me that my body or physical appearance is a way of obscuring this function and provides justification for doing so. My Heavenly Father did not abandon me and has found another purpose for these illusions I've made, and this lesson is an attempt to remind me not to substitute my function for God's. When I truly dedicate myself to these lessons, my world starts gradually coming together exactly the way the Course dictates and my trust in God increases. I too pray for guidance out of this insane maze I've created and my concentration on these lessons do just that. Of course, the time I put into them is the results I get out of them. Pathwaysoflight.org All right, so what did we learn today? Let me not forget my cookies, right? That's basically how I learn everything. Like, they go over the lesson, they're like, okay, good job, and what did you learn? And I'm like, cookies!